Instead of another one to blame Negative thoughts are raised back to where they came You can do it, you can do it, you got everything to gain Traces of my grandmother etched in my brain That kind of loss will make you go insane But I go through it, nothing's impossible Just do what you got to do The first steps, the hardest after that They not stopping you huh. The motivation had a lighter I was a flame, you added to the fire Reaching for the things that I desire If you aspire to take it higher Then your passion I admire huh. But I'm still staying focused The way they hate us warm Somebody like a pack of lotus What's up no everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we are here If you haven't noticed by the beginning I have made a major upgrade to my wheel setup And that is of my new Fanatec wheelbase I got the full Forza Edition Fanatec bundle With hydraulic handbrake So instead of doing the traditional box opening video of all this stuff since there's nothing really new products figured i would just you know get it all set up show talk a little bit about it real quick and then uh, get into the main thing that everybody really wants to see gameplay and we are going to be playing some dirt rally 2.0 today with our new fanatech setup we are rocking the fanatech v2.5 uh, base club sport hydraulic uh 1.5 v uh handbrake we do have the shifter which is h pattern seven gears and it has the switch on the side to flip it to uh sequential mode which we will be using today in sequential mode it also has the uh larger shift knob that i have on it now quick screws off to the shorter little ball shift knob if i want to do that we're going to be using a taller uh sequential style shift knob very quick and easy to uh, snap back in place. Super excited that I finally have the Fanatec rig I've wanted. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. Been something I've been wanting forever, and I finally have a chance to get it. We do have the full uh, Forza Edition metal pedals down there, full uh, pressurized and stuff like that. So, and we do have the Forza Motorsports Edition leather wheel on the Xbox hub with uh, the quick release and everything, paddle shifters, all the buttons on top as well as uh, on the sides. So we're gonna get this uh, put on here real quick. Do it this way. Get it snapped in, nice and nice and tight. Then we uh, quickly switch it to the Xbox mode and we're good to go. So we're gonna go load up Dirt Rally 2.0 here today. So we're gonna switch the wheel cam to the, uh, you know, smaller wheel cam so we can actually see Dirt Rally 2.0 in the background. So, been having a lot of fun on Dirt Rally. This wheel makes it totally different to drive. The feeling of this new Fanatec wheel and, you know, the adjustability on the little LCD screen is definitely insane. Oh, I hear the rally cars in the background. So, definitely super excited to update my rig to this full Fanatec uh, setup with, you know, it's just something I've been wanting for a very long time. So nice to have my buttons that I can move around if I want. Uh, we'll be leaving it there. I will be putting my Energy Innovations wheel on there, of course. But I wanted to run it with the actual Forza Motorsports wheel on there right now. Which is kind of cool because it's more of a race style wheel. So we are running factory settings on the Logitech. Or Logitech. Gotta get used to saying Fanatec. We are running all the factory settings here on the Fanatec rig. Um, we did adjust the settings in the game to uh, be a little bit less because the, the force feedback on this is so much heavier and uh, I just adjusted it a little bit to uh, not break my arms so we're gonna just hop right into this see what events we got going on I think we are in a uh, rally cross event we are in the Ford Fiesta so we're just gonna hop into it and just go right to it because having a lot of fun here on Dirt Rally 2.0. You guys have been asked for more Dirt content, so here we go. New rig, a new setup, sequential shifter setup, hydraulic cam brake. And the one thing I like the most about this is the fact that it's all just worked. Once I plugged it all in, did the software update, everything worked. I didn't have to worry about like wiring anything else. I don't have to worry about you know breaking it open and wiring anything into it. I do have some custom things that I'm doing to it here in the next uh, episode or two getting stuff 3d printed to make this rig even more awesome you can't you know 
express the you know the joy that I have to finally have something that I've been wanting for a very long time. I've been working to try to get this Fantix set up for a very long time, and uh, I finally had the means to get one. And uh, well, it has just changed the outlook of uh, this game's for me. So it looks like we're just going to be on grid and going into straight up starting. So I don't remember the course. I think I ran a practice lap with the Fanatec to make sure everything was good. But this is a lot more intense of a game with the Fanatec rig. So, well, we're just going to go into it. Not sure uh, what views I'm going to be running today. Third person, first person, not sure. We're going to be running the sequential. We don't need to run the paddles unless we want to. And, uh, well, here we go. That's good to know. So it looks like we were in first person view. Let's run some third person for the first uh, first run out today. To race. Watch your launch. R rally cross, snap on tools, Fiesta. Go, go, go. Really bad launch, but just banging the gears in this sequential. Trying not to get screwed. Gonna try and stay smooth, as smooth as possible. So, like I said, the force feedback on the Fanatec rig is a lot heavier and a lot more intense, but the feeling you get from all the bumps and everything is just, it's, it gives you the ability to drive a little bit differently because you have more feeling and it's more precise feel. And uh, well, it's super quiet, you don't hear anything at all with it being belt driven and all that stuff. You don't hear the clicking of the G920 gears. I still have my G920 and I plan on still probably building another rig to have the G920 set up as well to still do G920 content. But right now, just enjoying this fan attack, having a lot of fun with it, a lot of good content coming to the channel. But I'm super excited to introduce you guys to the new fan attack rig here on the channel. I hope you guys aren't uh, mad that I switched to a Fanatec and I'm not running the GI20 at the moment. But, uh, you know, we uh, we will be doing some GI20 stuff as well, but definitely uh, going to be having a lot of fun with this. Had a chance to use my buddies last weekend in the Sim Rig event. He has the same setup as I do now. He bought one as well. Oh, jeez. It's a little bit more of a workout with this. I gotta get used to where this handbrake is because it's uh, not as vertical as my other one is and the way I have it mounted, it's kind of leaned back, but it doesn't really get in my way too much. But we're, uh, we're just banging gears. We're gonna run the Joker this lap. So we can get our Joker out of the way. And it looks like uh, we're gonna have to catch up to this man because uh, he did take his joker lap so we're gonna have to not lose it one thing I am noticing about dirt rally is this game is very intense it's really hard you could lose control really quickly and I'm not sure if I like the decoat wheel right now because uh, it's kind of weird grabbing that flat bottom this is probably more of a uh, race car wheel for like GTLM racing and track racing not this kind of racing probably should be on the uh, NRG wheel because I don't need the paddles because we're rocking the sequential. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him so we do some really good trickery moves. We're going to definitely try and catch him. Probably run the next qualifying session in first person, get a different, couple different views here for today. Striking oh no. And that's what I talked about. You could just instantly lose it in this mud here on this game. Kind of over uh, overturned myself there and could not gain control. So unfortunately, we're going to take a third in this first qualifying heat. This, <laughs> this wheel is so much more intense. I'm going to have to slide my pedals a little bit. There we go. So unfortunately, I was not able to get first, but we took third. Not by much, but uh, I keep going over here thinking my buttons are over here because I'm so used to it with my G920. So, qualifying round two. Just gonna go right into it. We're not gonna restart that. 
because uh, definitely getting used to the different rig. I probably could change the settings a little bit on it if I wanted to, but I want to run it how it is first out of the box and uh, then go work with settings from there. So what do we got? We're not going to repair a vehicle. I don't think we did any anything too dramatic. What did we do? Body work. Yeah, body work's fine. We'll just go without replacing body work. Not really too worried about that. So we're going to switch up the view. I like having my buttons here again. I know um, when I took them all off my GN20, I thought it was awesome, but you know, you forget about the little things like paddle shifters. Having them here is definitely uh, definitely cool for different games and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing a lot more different racing games with this wheel and doing some more uh, track racing and stuff like that with the, uh, the ability now of being on paddles and such. So we're going to race this one in first person. Go, go, go. A little bit better of a start. Oh, we're all getting ready, getting hit. Gotta stay off the rumble strips. That's what bit me that last race. Hitting that rumble strip kind of screwed up my line. As I say that, we hit the rumble strip here. So definitely going to be uh, doing a lot of drifting stuff here very soon because uh, very curious how this wheel feels on Horizon 4 and uh, Forza Motorsport 7 with the drift mode and everything that this wheel does have ability to turn drift mode on and off on the wheel is definitely kind of cool because I can keep a very stiff wheel feel when I'm running race cars and I can get that looser feel when I'm running drift cars. I think we're just going to take our Joker right away. Hard on the brakes. I do the brake pedal does has an adjustment dial that I can uh, change it and uh, make the brake pedal a little bit harder if I want. I can turn it to basically like the G920 paddle, or where it had the rubber stopper in it, where you have to like stand on the pedals. So these pedals are not inverted like my G920. So I'm so used to the inverted pedals that uh, I'm kind of getting used to the uh, all floor mount pedals now. I'm not super worried about this man being ahead of me because he did not take his Joker. So as long as we stay smooth and not lose it, we still should pass him through the Joker. I hope. So if you guys play Dirt Rally 2.0, you guys know this game is not easy. This is probably one of the hardest rally games that I've played in a long time. And the first Dirt Rally was not easy either, especially not on a wheel. It feels so much more satisfying on the wheel when you can actually uh, like win a race and you know do really good lines and full stages and stuff because then you have a sense of accomplishment of being able to... Uh, complete it all on a wheel and definitely going to be trying to do some of the stuff that I was doing on the channel with the drift builds and stuff like that on this wheel it's taking seeing what the difference is really with going from you know a $400 Logitech to you know the full expensive Fanatec wheel setup I think we're going to take first in this one I think we're finally getting a uh, getting a groove here in this car and this course. So we're rocking the Snap-on sponsorship, running uh, Snap-on gloves. Thought it was uh, kind of fitting. So one thing I like about Dirt 4, where you can put sponsorships on the cars and stuff, this just has preset liveries. That's definitely one better thing I liked about Dirt 4, the ability to make the liveries. But this one, oh god, don't lose it now. We literally almost just lost this race in the last turn. Trying to stay smooth, got to keep on my breaking points and not hit the walls. Running that red line, trying not to shift if I don't have to. There we go. We'll take first on that qualifying heat. Whew. So definitely going to be doing, like I said, some of the stuff on Horizon 4 that I've already done. Doing, Going with some of my other drift cars that I've already built, like the M4s and stuff, and trying it on this. and giving you guys kind of a comparison of how oh I ran a faster lap than everybody how it feels in comparison to what I'm used to so this is definitely uh, a big step up from a Logitech being you know twin motor belt drive nice and smooth very quiet there's no clicking noises which is one thing I've 
can't I can't get over the fact that how smooth and precise it is and you know having the handbrake here that's really nice spring loaded and the shifter being able to go sequential and H pattern and having a seventh gear on this one on like the Logitech but being able to go sequential without having to put rubber bands on it or my custom built one and stuff like that that's kind of a why I was super excited to get this and you know we're gonna we're gonna do a standard fix on there screw it we'll do standard fix on all that stuff right now firm repairs fix the car up for the next qualifying heat so i hope you guys are enjoying the dirt content i hope you guys are enjoying the new rig setup here on the channel like i said i'm hopefully going to be building another rig maybe next to it with the logitech on it to still do logitech stuff and do kind of a comparison between one and one right, right. i think we're going to switch to uh the closer outside view for this race just love those backfires go, go, go. we got a good jump on that one guys seem to be faster though we're gonna try something different this lap we're gonna take a joker first lap out see how it plays into our favor the sounds of this game are insane that's why i love being outside the car because just the pops and sounds like some of the other cars like, oh don't don't wreck me don't wreck me i feel like i was wrecking him though some of the sounds that these cars make like the subarus and the evos and the rally car just it's just awesome sounding and the graphics are stunning in this game and it's a lot of fun go that man just like lost that Excuse me, I'm gonna bank off you. Ooh. So I don't have to worry too much about these guys ahead of me because they still have jokers to take. And there goes two of them. So we're gonna take those positions back. So now we just gotta keep close to this man in front to make sure we uh, can pass him when he takes his joker. Oh gosh. So the one good thing I did notice with going from the Logitech to the Fanatec. The uh, speed that this Fanatec has is so much more than that G920. So the ability to counter steer on certain aspects with the, the force feedback is a lot quicker. So definitely gonna be very excited when I get drifting to see how quickly the counter steer is and everything in like drift mode and stuff like that. So, that's one thing I'm super excited about how fast and precise this is. This is going to be a close race when he comes out of this Joker. Just barely took it. We're going to have to stay up there though. Still got two laps to go. So, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys do enjoy this content. If you guys want to see more Dirt Rally 2.0, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to start doing some uh, Rally Cross events with uh, the team here possibly very soon and uh having some online fun here in this game definitely gonna want to get used to this wheel before i uh try and throw myself to the wolves of uh all those other guys so if you guys do have a fan attack and you uh have some settings let me know what settings you guys are running because i'm definitely curious to see what other settings people are running because i'm just running pretty much the stock ones right now and then i will update them from there how I feel fit for my own personal driving style. Ooh, don't lose it. Don't lose it on the last lap. So I think this is going to be the last race for today here on the channel. Definitely going to finish off this series and get into uh, some rally racing and rally stages here in Dirt Rally and get back on the Horizon 4 with the Fanatec and for the 7 as well maybe do some project cars too and a set of corsa as well so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below i do appreciate you coming back hope you guys are enjoying the content and as always i thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and i will see you guys next time